Hello and welcome to Shosha's classes. Today we are going to be doing some questions on Indian economic services. You can WhatsApp or call us at the number given on the screen for any queries or for full videos on our courses. Let's see our first question. Assume that a monopolist sells a product with cost function given as follows where C is total cost, F is the fixed cost and Q is the level of output. Now we are also given an inverse demand function P equals to 60 minus Q where P is the price in the market. We need to find out the firm's profit and also at which the firm earns a zero economic profit. Let us find how to obtain the answer. Now we are given the following information in the question. Therefore the profit function which we denoted by P is nothing but TR minus TC. Therefore total revenue is PQ minus C. Therefore pi is equal to 60 minus Q into Q minus F minus 20Q. Therefore differentiating the profit function with respect to Q we have 60 minus 2Q minus 20. Now let us equate this with 0, therefore we have 40 equals to 2q or we can write q is equals to 20. Therefore profit is equals to 60q minus q square minus f minus 20q. Now let us put this q value in this. 60 into 20 minus 20 square which will be 400 minus f minus 20 into 20 which is again going to be 400 that is 1200 minus 400 minus 400 minus f or it will be 400 minus f now the price will be P is equals to 60 minus Q which is equals to 60 minus 20 or 40 units. Now we figure out the second case which is for zero economic profit. For zero economic profit the concept is that the profit will be equals to zero. It's a long run concept but let us see how to do this. 400 minus F as we had already obtained or F is equals to 400. This is the case for zero economic profit. Now in the next case we have two firms in an industry where firm and 1 and firm 2 are the only players. Now the market demand curve is also given and the total cost function is given as CI equals to 4QI. Now if firm 1 acts as a leader, we need to find out the quantities that each will produce in the equilibrium and their profits. Let us see how to do this. Therefore we have the following inf information. Therefore for firm 1, we have pi 1 equals to 12 minus q1 q2 into q1 that is the total revenue minus total cost function that is minus 4 q1. Therefore, let us differentiate this with respect to Q1 and we obtain 12 minus 2 Q1 minus Q2 minus 4. Now, this is equals to 8 minus 2 Q1 minus Q2 and let us equate this with 0. Now we put in the condition as firm 1 is the leader therefore it will produce the quantities that is 8 minus 2 q1 minus q2 equals to 0 or 8 minus q2 by 2 equals to q1 star that is 4 minus q2 by 2 which is equals to q1 star that is equation number one thus for firm 2 we have pi 2 equals to 12 minus q1 minus q2 
into q2 minus 4 q2 which is equals to 12 q2 minus q1 q2 minus q2 square minus 4 q2 or this equals 8 q2 minus 4 minus q2 by 2 that we had obtained earlier into q2 minus q2 square this upon solution comes to 4q2 minus q2 square by 2 therefore del pi by del q2 is equals to 4 minus 2 q2 by 2 which is equals to 0 thus q2 equals to 4 and q1 equals to 4 minus 4 by 2 which is equals to 4 minus 2 or equals to 2 so the quantities q1 is equals to 2 and q2 is equals to 4 now the profits will be pi1 equals to 12 minus q1 minus q2 into q1 minus 4 q1 therefore putting in the values we have the answer as 4 units and for pi2 we have 4 into 4 minus 4 square by 2 which is nothing but 8 units with this we come to an end of another great video please like subscribe and click click on the notification icon you can contact us for our full videos on our different courses or for any questions or queries that you may have thank you for being a part of show source classes have a great day